and uh, we are going to solve another very interesting uh, interview question. Uh, this is again string related, uh, and in this one, what we what we are trying to find is uh, the first unique character in the string. So you're give, basically given a string, and you need to find first non-repeating character in it. Uh, so so a character that's never been repeated uh, throughout the string. Okay, and we need to return this index. Uh, if you don't find it, then you need to return negative one. Okay, so for example, uh, it could be input could be dev techie, and uh, in this, uh, the first non repeating character that's going to appear is D, so we're going to return output as zero. And uh, let's say if you have another example of uh, interactive, then I appears uh, like you know, two places one at the initial and uh, at the very like you know, towards like the very end, and uh, then you have n that does not appear anywhere so that's your first unique character so that's why the index that that we're going to return is going to be one okay so uh once again we're gonna employ one of the technique that we learned in um, uh in uh, in arrays section um and uh, just to give you a hint um it has something to do with uh, uh, creating a hash table so keeping a track of something. So come up with your um, with your solution and algorithm, and uh, uh, so pause the video here and basically come up with your algorithm and then resume back to see what we've got uh, as a solution. Okay, so pause the video here. All right, hello and welcome back. And uh, hope it went well. Now let's take a look at the solution that we've got. So uh, once again, uh, the hint was right on target actually it was more than a hint uh basically just create a dictionary uh to keep a track of the characters now you have two ways uh to keep track i mean you can either keep track of uh the count of the characters so basically number of times a character has appeared or if you're like you know um, if you're going to consider basically uh, even less uh, storage space, uh, then you actually just check bool. So basically, because we are just trying to find the first unique character here, um, we don't care if the number if the number appears more than once, then we don't care about it. So we simply set its uh, boolean flag um, for that character to be false. Okay, so that actually is gonna help us. That's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our string, convert it into a character array. We're gonna create a dictionary with character and Boolean. Okay, iterate over each item in the array. And we're gonna see if the item is not nil. That means item has been inserted before. Then because this is a unique uh, uniqueness, uh, um, like, uh, basically, we're checking for uniqueness. You're going to say the item has to appeared once. That means that item uh, is going to turn to false. Um, That's not unique. So it's not a unique item in the dictionary. So we're going to just set it to false. Uh, otherwise, uh, initially, when we insert it, we actually insert it. If the item is not there in the dictionary, we insert it with true value. That means it's unique. Okay. Then in the second loop, um, minded on the same level um, when we actually enumerate uh, to get the index and the item from the array. So when you when you iterate over the array one more time, and at that time, we simply take that dictionary item, right? And we check if it's true. If it is true, uh, immediately we return the index, okay? Because we found our first unique character uh, because that, that dictionary item is set as a unique. Uh, and if we run through the loop and we did not find anything, everything is false, that means everything is repeated. So we simply return negative one as the index as we could not find anything that is unique. Okay. So that hope that was uh, uh, simple enough. And uh, let's go ahead and, um, and uh, check it out in the code to see like, you know, run through a couple of examples and see if it actually works. Okay. So we're gonna create a function here, um, and uh, we're gonna say is first unique.
and you're going to return the index. Okay. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to convert uh, the string into character array. We're also going to create our dictionary. And we're going to iterate over. If dictionary has that item, right? So if it's not equal to nil, that means this uniqueness has to be set to false. So it's not unique item anymore. Else we say the item is not there inserted with unique set as true. Okay, so we first iterate over, uh, get all the uh, characters into the dictionary. We actually set their true and false. Um, and then we go over, iterate them like one more time. Okay, and uh, here while we are while we are in enumerating, I'm gonna check if dictionary contains that item. I mean, it's gonna contain that item because it's the same array. But if the item's value, so basically the flag, is equal to true, if it is true, then we're gonna return that index. Okay. Now, reason we did not um, save our index because remember dictionary is unordered collection okay because it's hash based uh, so key uh, there's a hash that's uh, that's um, computed based on the key and we're going to create our own um, uh, hash table and be like you know how actually hash uh, table can be created uh, later on um, but uh, just so you know like you know that dictionary is hash based and uh, it's unordered so uh, that's why we are iterating over our array again to find the index where we found the unique um, item or basically wherever uh, that character um, that was uh, that's unique is present okay and uh, if we run through the loop we simply say return negative one now let's give it our, uh, let's create our test input. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say key and uh, print input. And basically it's first unique, once again, input. Now, if I uh, run this, uh, we're gonna get uh, zero as the index in interactive. And we get one. So let's say, if I put another n here, we're gonna get four. So zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three, four. R is basically unique. So let's add R. Then you have C that's unique. So I'm trying to uh, go. Wait. So that's actually okay. Um, C. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, V. Negative one, there we go. All right, so that was our test to basically uh, see if every single element appears more than once or if there are any unique elements. So yeah, this is how we find uh, the first unique element in the string. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.